Get ready to see a bigger security presence at the Sunport before you get to the security checkpoint. News 13 So Young Kim is live at the Sunport where the feds showed off some new measures today. Kim, the TSA is about to double the number of so-called Viper teams at airports across the country to try and prevent what happened in Brussels from happening here. It's no secret in recent years, the skies have become less friendly. We still see where aviation is a, an, an area of interest in our adversaries. Travelers have noticed the increase in security measures at airports. Taking your shoes off, you know, getting screened, scanned, patted down. Today, the focus of airport security is extending to non-secure areas before travelers ever reach the security checkpoint. We have an adversary that's very nimble and very agile. New Mexico Senator Martin Heinrich pushed for the Viper Team Amendment, which doubles the number of specialized teams that patrol airports from the current 30 to 60 nationwide. The measure also provides funding for training local law enforcement in active shooter incidents at mass transit facilities. This is one of the most flexible tools that we have uh, in terms of, of visibly and actively preventing uh, terrorist incidents. Viper teams are a partnership between federal, state, and local law enforcement. You will see them here at the Sunport more often in the months and years to come. There's also a four-member canine unit permanently based here. Dogs remain one of the most effective tools possible at detecting things like explosives. The TSA hopes the increased presence will help ease passengers' fears. As we have to respond to terrorists who are changing their tactics, is to make sure that Americans don't change the way that we live. The Viper teams can also patrol other mass transit facilities such as bus and train stations around the country. Back to you. Okay, thanks so young. Now Senator Heinrich says they are currently working to secure funding to add even more of these teams.